Okay, so we hook, hook the cable up to the board. You notice we got the jumpers in the middle too. That's test mode. So it'll be a way for us to easily test these connections we just put on. So when we first turn it on, it should announce uh, test and the revision number of the chip that's driving it. So test one, one, test two, three, two, three, two. So two, three is telling us two, that these three, jumpers two. are on. So two and three. So we'll just take these two uh, jumpers off. So now it has nothing to sense. And you notice it was rev one. One one there. So now to test all the buttons, here's the trigger. It should be five, 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 five. And then you can check your switch. Four, 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 three, 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 two, 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 three, three, four, four. And then back again. Five, five. So there we've got a good feel for it. Should be working. And if you want, you can also test whether the jumper for the random works, which is one. One. See, that's on the very one, bottom side. You know, this works the same way too. Two, three, four, four, four. So just whichever one you select on here. And again, it uh, has to be in those middle two, so when you turn it off and turn it back on, it's now uh, sequential mode and it'll select everything. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. And uh, to get into the test mode again, if you ever want to do that, it's just set those two jumpers on the middle two and it will test it all. There you go.